Hello and welcome to a new PPT bomb game. Chusok has just gone past, a public holiday has just gone past and another holiday is coming up. But what you will notice this time of year in Korea, in this extremely hot October, is that there are many persimmons that are ripening on the trees everywhere. So I decided to make a seasonal game and this is my persimmon game. So let's get straight into it. So the first uh, slide here will show you how to change the view size from four by three to 60 by nine if you're using a computer that is in Korean language. And there's a quick uh, Korean language tip here. Which means please choose a number. I tend to use this expression with lower level students and also with students who are using a, a PPT bomb game for the first time. There's also a short uh, video which is embedded into the PPT file. This is a persimmon song. It's quite cute. It's not that high quality, but you could go ahead and use this as a kind of motivation if you want to. This is all about uh, singing about persimmons. But anyway, let's skip that and get into the main game. This is the Persimmon game. And we have a cat with some Persimmons. Uh, let's click on next and get into the game more. We have the point system. Just click on the uh, click on the skip in the top left hand corner if you want to uh, just move straight into the game. But I'll explain the points from here on. So if you get this character here, they're worth one point each, okay? One point each. There's also a change point slide. I think there are two change point slides uh, in the game. And there's also a choice. This game has six choice slides, which makes it um, quite dynamic and exciting. All you have to do is click on the Persimmon character. So just click in the middle uh, like that. You've got six points there. Click in the middle of the character picture there. And uh, don't be so pessimistic. Is the bomb that team will lose all points? Uh, same again, bomb. And there's six there. So each change point slide has a different amount of points uh, for each question. And also <laughs> minus three. Don't be so pessimistic. Uh, if you get the the three mugs there, you're going to get a minus three points for that team. Okay, so let's play. Let's get into this game fully. So number one, I'm going to choose question number one. You're going to put your um, students into teams and then they can choose a number. This is a template, so please go ahead and uh, in the white rectangular box, put your question in there. Put a picture in the transparent uh, yellow rectangular box in the middle. And then also put the answer there in the yellow rectangular box at the bottom. To reveal the answer, just push on the space bar or the forward arrow cursor and push on the space bar again and then it will reveal whatever the points are going to be. So in this case, you've got the change point slide. All you have to do is click on the character on the left or the right hand side and that will take you back to the main uh, question screen. I'm going to choose uh, number two next. Click on number two. Person one question. Person one answer. Click the space bar again. So we've got points this time. We've only got two points. All you need to do is click on the number two. And that will take you back to the uh, main point slide. This time I'm going to choose question number five. Click on that one there. Again, as I said, this is a template. Please go ahead and make the game as you want and then click on the uh, yellow rectangular box or push the space bar. So we've got the choice slide this time. Uh, click on the character. Uh, they've got change points there. On the yellow, we've got six points. On the red, we have six points. On the blue, we got six points. Now to go back to the, uh, the main slide for the questions, just click on the background, okay? anywhere on the background, that will take you back to the main uh, question slide. The final one I'm gonna do is number eight. Click on number eight. Person one question, person one answer, push the space bar, there you go. So we've seen this before, this is minus three points. But I will let you know that you need to click on the background, anywhere on the background, 
that will take you back to the main question slide. So that is it. It's quite a simple game. It's nothing too uh, complicated. The file size is quite nice and small, so it's easy to put on a USB and carry around. And I'm going to upload quite a lot of pre-made games, so you don't even have to actually make a game if you're using the same book <laughs> that I'm using. Anyway, thank you very much if you uh, watched this video. Please go ahead and download the game from the Google Drive link. And um, everybody enjoy this extremely hot October and enjoy the holidays that are here in this month. Take care and much appreciation and hope to be making a new game very soon. Bye bye.